Welcome to Daddy's Gardening Show. Well, Emma Rose, what are we doing today? I think we're making salsa. We are making salsa, and uh, I normally don't write things down, but I did write this recipe down, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, can you walk us through what's the what do we do with these tomatoes? Well, you peeled them and sliced or quartered them. Yeah, and remove the the stems, and uh, so there's nice tomatoes here. Um, so once we got the tomatoes ready, what are we gonna do? What what's this here? That is our Vitamix, and we're going to put about well, we're going to use about twelve cups of tomatoes. That's right, six cups, about forty eight ounces. We're gonna fill this pitcher twice. Yes. Each time we fill it up with tomatoes, we're gonna what setting are we gonna run it at? About four or five, I think. Four or five. We're gonna take our plunger and we're gonna work the tomatoes. You can also use a food processor to do that, but we've got the Vitamix, works pretty well. After we do that, we're gonna pour the tomatoes in our stock pot here. This camera's going in and out of focus here. Too many things to focus on. After we do that twice, we're gonna do a pitcher full of our other ingredients. What are our other ingredients? What's this stuff here? That is cilantro. Cilantro. And what we're going to do, how much of that do we need? Um, about a head of it. Yeah, about a cup, uh, a full cup. So the best way is to take most of this, and I'm just going to cut the top off, the tops off these, um, this bunch. Cut this up. I don't really have to dice it on. I'm just going to shove it in the Vitamix. Then what else do we need? What's the next ingredient? Um, half a cup of minced garlic. Yeah, and you can use fresh garlic, but we've, we've opted for the minced garlic. It works about as well. Um, so about a half a cup. Actually, you can add a little bit more if you really like your salsa to have more of a garlic feel. But a, a full half cup is about right for... Um, as far as the proportions here. So we're gonna put the cilantro, then the garlic. What else is next? Um, after that, it's <clears throat> about three-fourths of a cup of lime juice. Yeah, about three-fourths cup of lime juice works pretty well. So we're gonna fill up three-quarter cup, dump that in there. What's next? Next is four chopped jalapenos. Yeah, chopped jalapenos, and if you like your salsa hotter, you can add more jalapenos, or you can choose a hotter pepper, and I do have hotter peppers. But the jalapeno has about the right amount of heat, and four for this, uh, for the 12 cups, you know, running this twice with tomatoes. For this recipe, four jalapenos has just about the right amount of heat. What's next? Um, one tablespoon of ground cumin. And they need to be heaping. Yeah, cumin is kind of the secret ingredient here. And you're going to want a heaping tablespoon of it. We will dump that in there. And then what's next? Next is one-fourth of a cup or a handful of salt. Yeah, kosher salt. I would use kosher salt as, as opposed to regular table salt. You know, it's going to make it more flavorful because I think you're actually adding a little bit more salt doing that bit. About a fourth cup, you can back off of it a little bit. Um, a little less than a fourth cup of, of the kosher salt is about right uh, as far as giving it the right flavor. What else? Um, well, I think the sugar is Did we go here. over the onions? Um, actually, we didn't. We didn't, yeah. You need a large yellow onion or two smaller yellow onions for this recipe. And again, if you like more chunky salsa, a little bit more onion, you can do that. I mean, you can kind of, you know, experiment. For me, what makes the recipe is the cilantro. It's just got a nice uh, tangy flavor. I like cilantro, so I go a little bit more on that. But So once we've got the tomatoes in here, We've done and processed them. We're going to put all those ingredients we just mentioned into the Vitamix, and we're going to run it at about five or six using the plunger. And we're, the other thing we're going to do, the other ingredient that we don't didn't really mention is the 
the tomato juice that has seeped out of these tomatoes. We're going to add just a little bit of tomato juice, about a cup, um, just to help the mixture we got in here incorporate. Grind that up until basically, you know, I mean, it's still chunky. You haven't completely pureed it or anything by any means, but it's 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 well on its way to being incorporated, which will demonstrate what we'll do in the next video as far as the part two of the salsa making is we'll actually start processing these ingredients so you can see the consistency that we got. But we're going to process these. I'm going to add them in, stir it all together, and then we're going to sample it, and it should taste pretty good. And then from there, um, we're not going to cook it down. We're going to go ahead and just put it in our jars, and we're going to can it, uh, do a water bath can. There's enough uh, acidity with the tomatoes and then with the added lime juice that uh, we should be good on that. We've already got about 14 jars, um, so we should get at least another 14 or 15 jars out of this. If you like your sauce a little thicker, you can squeeze these tomatoes a little bit, you know. Um, you can strain, you know, after you've processed it, you can strain it a little bit to thicken it up. But this is how we make it. That's what we're going to do. You ready to get started? Yes. Okay, here we go. Bye.